the humanity features highly in my work, and um, even it might just be one figure. But you know, what can one figure tell you? A lot, actually, depending on the gaze, the look. Referring to um, these images that you see on the wall, they are references. Um, some, you know, focus on perhaps creating a particular work, but my study is humanity after all, and that's what I claimed earlier. Um, now, I mean, I might look, for instance, this is a little collage I've made. It's of an eye. The eye had makeup around the top part of the eye, and then I put a swarm of birds, or a flock of birds rather, um, rising up above it. And I thought, that's a really great idea for a painting. I'll just put that back on the floor, and I'll look at it and I think, well, I'll get round to that soon, you know. Well, there will be another image, an old painting that I really love and treasure, and I'll look at it and I'll think, that's not finished off yet, you know, I still want to develop that. It's a very good idea. I'll keep working on those ideas. It's like fermenting, you know, everything's fermenting away. All these images, they, they give you input. It's like a computer, but you're inside the computer. You're, you're sort of scanning everything all the time. Colours, you know, figures, um, a figure that might perhaps suggest the sculpture that you might make. Leonardo da Vinci did a painting of, this is called Madonna and the Yarn Winder. And that intrigued me, it's sort of like the idea of perhaps the Yarn Winder is winding up time in reference to the sun, which I've in included, which wasn't in the original painting at all. So this is a kind of version and a bit extra. You know, I mean, I, I use a lot of bright colours now on metal, of course, and, you know, and some of them are quite funky and just absolutely just sparkly, you know, whereas I might just um, go back. Of course, I mean, I, I keep changing it all the time because, you know, like, like that, that's quite a nice little sort of, oh, I don't know if I like to do it but it has a lot of potential. And I'll use a, I use, I'll use a Dremel to... I might do a bit of painting on it, then I use a Dremel to, or an angle grinder to cut a scathe through the metal. And I'm up for that because, you know, you might say, oh, oh, you could really screw that up, you know. But it's worth it. It's really worth it because if you do two or three of them, there's bound to be one that will be really brilliant. I've always wanted to break through things, break through the known world, I want to break down barriers of understanding. And I think that really is the thing that motivates me. You know? I want to know what this world is really ultimately about and I want to do it through art and painting. You know, I think to some extent I have succeeded already, but I've got great plans. I, I, just, I just know there's a lot more that one could achieve. So, um, yeah.